it's Tracy welcome to today's video I'm painting up a sweet and juicy looking watermelon and it's from a wood slice from a Hobby Lobby guys I'm so glad that you're here and let's get started the wood watermelon slice is one I picked up from Hobby Lobby in the spring section these are the paints that I'm going to be painting the watermelon as well as uh, on the inside. I'll add more a little bit later and I'll tell you as I go along. Okay, so it's already like, um, you know, drawn out or kind of like burned uh, in kind of grooved. So I just follow along that line with some holly green acrylic paint and that is Americana uh, color and so I just take my three quarter inch flat paintbrush and just go all the way around and give it uh, I'm gonna actually give it one coat then I'm gonna move to the red then I'll go back and give it a second coat of green and then a second coat of the red uh, with a total of four coats or two coats each the red and the green If this is your first time watching and you're new to my channel, welcome. And uh, what I'm doing is I shaded uh, in black first, and then I go back and I sh highlight and shade in white. And so I feel that that just really gives some depth and dimension as well as just different character to my whimsical country crafts. And so that is what I'm doing. I uh, take a flat paintbrush. I uh, dip half of the brush in paint and then the other half in clean water and then I blend there on those blue paper towels and those are just shop towels that I get in the automotive section at any um, you know like Walmart the grocery store Sam's Club that kind of thing So then uh, now what I'm doing is just taking a small round brush and just filling in those um, seeds of the watermelon. To make the stripes on the watermelon rind, I'm using a, just a portion of my fan brush and uh, using the color citron green. And I am just making a little wave motion just to give it, you know, the look of the watermelon uh, stripes on the watermelon. Now 
I'll take a small thin brush and just put a white swoosh in each of the seeds of the watermelon just to give it uh, some doodle and just make it stand out. As uh, one of the things that I always say, the beauty is in the details. And I just really think when you add a lot of different highlights and doodles and, you know, just different uh, painting techniques it really just does bring out your project and so since I love the country look for my projects I have to have some squiggles and I just achieved that just with a thin liner brush this little brush has been with me for many many years it's my best friend and uh, you see me use it a lot in my uh, projects if you've been following me for a length of time and so I just add some highlights to you know around and sometimes I don't have my lines touching because I'm not a perfect painter <laughs> I really not and so you know you don't have to be perfect uh, it just has to be your creation and something that identifies you know with you all right so then what I'm doing here is I just have a, a paint marker now these are paint markers that I did get off of Amazon and they're called Artistro I have the fine point and then later on in the video I will be using the uh, bullet point one as well you can find those in my Amazon uh, store which is linked in my link tree in the description of the video all right so what I'm showing you here is um, what I was going to do is use this welcome ish a uh, little plaque. I also picked that up from Hobby Lobby. It was in the spring section. It's a pretty cheap because, you know, I got it when it was on sale. I think it was regularly priced $1.99 and then I got it 40% off at that time. So yes, <laughs> but um, I decided to go ahead and hand letter welcome. The Lord has given me the patience and the desire that I wanted to learn how to hand letter. And uh, I know that there are a lot of friends that reach out that leave me the most kindest, sweetest comments and uh, just let me know how much that you enjoy this. So I do greatly appreciate appreciate each and every one of you. And so um, I say that the Lord has given me patience because a long time ago, many, many years ago, I had the desire to learn how to hand letter like this. I know it's a bit old school and I just love it so much. It's, it's my heart and soul. And so, you know, uh, hand lettering can be you know, duplicate it into whatever style of font that you would like to just by practicing on paper, like tracing paper or graphite paper, uh, just with different fonts. Okay, so then now what I'm doing is just taking a stylus and just putting dots in there in the, um, just the seeds, just for more extra character and that kind of thing. So here are those larger uh, acrylic paint pens. It's the medium tip. Uh, and so this is the black one. I'm just going around each of the letters once they were dry and just kind of highlighting them and outlining them just a little bit, giving them a shadow. For the like inner part of the white part of the watermelon I like to use puffy paint and this bottle right here is uh, you know you can get that in the uh, craft section at any craft store Walmart has it uh, any place like that and I just like to make sure that it is flowing nicely so that I don't get a like puff of air because then that messes up my groove and it messes up my squiggle and so I just put that around the inner part like where the white would be and then now I'm just adding some paint splattering I do black first and then I get a uh, well how I do it is with a stiff stencil brush brush and a stick and I just uh, paint splatter black first and then I go back and I paint splatter white over it. I always cover my space because paint splattering is messy and it will go on the table or whatever you wherever you're working. I let my watermelon completely dry. It takes a little bit of time for that puffy paint to dry, uh, but when it is, then I take my sanding block. Uh, these came from the Dollar Tree. I just sand a little bit of the edge to expose a bit of the wood and just give it a little distressing. Then I just use a baby wipe to wipe off all of the excess. Now to add a sealer, I like this gloss sealer from uh, Delta Ceram Coat. It is listed 
listed in my Amazon shop as well, if that is something that you desire as well. I want to make a small bow for the top of my watermelon. So I use a few different ribbons that I have here. Now I like to get my ribbons either at Hobby Lobby or craftoutlet.com. That's where these ribbons came from. I just cut them about six or seven inches, dovetail the ends and just stack them up, cross, crisscrossing them to make a, an X pattern. And then I'm gonna gather them all together. So what I'm showing you here is what I decided to do is pull out a little bit of fine excelsior add that to my bow just to give it a bit of a whimsy now this fine excelsior is found over at hobby lobby as well and so i just layered that up and then just using a pipe cleaner just to twist it all together i use my needle nose pliers to get a really tight hold and then i'll just dovetail any of the extra uh, ribbon that may be a little bit too long and then what i'm going to do is just add it up there at the top uh on the top you know, corner of the watermelon. And then since this has a jute hanger, I have an already made door hanger. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to be adding this as a wreath attachment because I do design burlap wreaths and uh, that will be coming up here on my channel very soon. So I hope that you stick around and uh, watch that as well once I get that done. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I appreciate your kind and sweet comments for following along, subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. God God bless you and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.